you have a relationship to the earth, whether it is conscious or not. If you carry the kind of unconscious or conscious image of the earth as basically inert, as basically not, not a living being, then you will relate to it in a certain way. That it's either, you know, you might want to take care of it because it's good for you, or you might not. But when the earth becomes like it has in so many indigenous cultures, becomes something like a mother, something like a being that carries you, even if you're on the 20th story of a high rise, it is the earth that supports you. The gravitational pull is, is, is a description. Gravity is not a reality. Gravity is a description of a relationship between bodies. And a, an engineer would agree with that, a physicist would agree with that. It's a description of a relationship. When one body is attracted to another body, and the greater body of the earth is also attracted towards you in a minimal way, and you are very attracted to it in a more significant way, because smaller bodies move more greatly towards larger bodies than larger. But there's a relationship. There's a movement toward. There's actually an attraction. So that can be called gravity. It's not woo-woo to also say it's something like love. What happens when, something, when somebody carries you and feeds you? <laughs> this earth has been feeding you. This earth has been supporting you. And in fact, you never only sit on your bottom or stand on your feet. You're always carried by a greater body. And that's an amazing thing to experience. And right now as you're sitting here, what happens to your experience if you have the possibility, don't make it a belief system, but the possibility that this is a living being that is supporting you right now. The being actually has movement within it. It has forces that grow food. And it is carrying you right now. 